Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here. We thank you for your love. We thank you for all the fruits of your spirit. We thank that you brought us here to pray for this land. Yes, God. And we thank you, Father, that uh, you gave us this date. And you don't know if you just saw that white butterfly that passed by, but thank you, Father, for that white butterfly. Um, You've been telling me that the butterfly means transformation lately. And so I thank you, Father, that you've transformed us. And we didn't even know before when we were seeing your butterflies what that really meant. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thank you for the transformation that you're doing inside of us. Yes. And we know that we're here, and that's part of why, why we're here today, because this was uh, an old state hospital mental mental institution and uh, this is where people's minds were were either hurting or going through something or um, where they were even maybe persecuted for worshiping you god for hearing your holy spirit and that people um, were impacted negatively here so I, we feel you lord calling us to this land to to restore it because you make beauty from ashes and now in town state hospital the acronym would stand for ash and this is now the beautiful gate father of the city of allentown in bethlehem where they both meet and so we want to we want to release the the blessings of bethlehem onto the city of allentown because last year we found out that the city of allentown they were actually going to call it new jerusalem um, but somehow that kind of didn't that fell through and i'm i'm glad in a way because really the true new Jerusalem is us. We are the new city. And uh, Father, we thank you because we are now um, celebrating as of last night, the festival of tabernacles. And uh, we were listening to a word yesterday about pop-up tents because the tent was what carried the, the presence of God. And now we carry your presence with us, Father. And so we want to release it. So we're popping up our tent right here, Father, and we're bringing the presence of God to this land. Thank you, Father. And we are redeeming it and transforming it like you've redeemed and transformed us. Yes. So, Father, we declare your word. Yes. We declare your fruit. And we declare and we claim this land in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, that you are raining your blessings you've been speaking to me about that as well with this tabernacle it's all been coming together because you've been talking to me about an umbrella which is you staying underneath you and when we're not underneath you is when we we receive the rain we don't want and we want your rain which is your That's protection funny. your holy spirit right your your spirit of truth and your spirit of peace father so as we worship you, Father, we just ask that you do what you're going to do on this land. We're just your vessels. Yes, Father. So we, we pray that you have your way. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
So let us receive your reign, Lord. Let us, let us just remove all the things that prevent us from being able to be a perfect reflection of who Christ is. We love you so much, God. And you have been really talking to us so loudly lately, lately and saying something so profound that's hit me. I was just meditating in the shower and I know that my wife was just in there and she was praying and then I get in there and she had already prepared the atmosphere in there and I got in there father and I and I remember just thinking well you know I'm, I'm naked right now and, and you said to me who told you you were naked so I thank you father for always reminding me that I am never naked that I am never stripped of all the things that you have bestowed upon my life that Jesus Christ it was enough and that he clothes us in his righteousness and that he washes all of our sins white as snow. Yes, Father. So we thank you, Father, for reminding us that, that what you said over our life is way more important than what we may feel or think or what anyone else said. Yes, Father. Because what your truths say is that we are yours. And that we were created by you perfectly. Yes, Father. Fearfully. Yes, Father. So, Father, we, uh, we just give this time to you now, Father. Yes, Father. And we thank you that, uh, for what you're going to do here today. Yes, Father. We love you.